and also PS, if you are getting these like for a Christmas gift or something like that, they, they aren't the most attractive of packaging. That's that's basically it. But but you know, if it's utilitarian, it's what's on the inside that counts, right? You know, that that's biblical. We shouldn't be too harsh. Amazon.com, it's me, Bo Chevizu, coming to you today with this fluffy little creature. But wait, what is on the creature's back? It is this multi-tool hair clip. Now, it is very strong, very robust, definitely stainless steel because I did test it by putting it out in the rain and it did not, in fact, uh, get all um, uh, rusty at all. However, if you were to use this quite a bit, you'll see that the paint is definitely chipping off. So that's a shame right there. Plus, uh, I think they designed it with, and I'm trying to open that with one hand, it actually hurts my fingers a little bit because the steel is so darn thick. So I almost wish that they'd put more thought into that. I, I, maybe it's because there's a bottle opener attached to it. So they kind of made it in such a way where they're like, look, we have to make this thick in order to make it strong enough and robust enough in order to open up uh, bottles, which it does in fact open up bottles, albeit it's kind of clunky. Uh, but, you know, if, you, if you're a frat boy and if you enjoy um, having a hair clip in your beard, ah, see, that, that, it, it, it snaps. It's so, anyway, it, it will hold in thick hair for sure, but the metal is just way too thick, which, again, I, I don't, I shouldn't fault them for that because they're trying to make a robust bottle opener and, and then also try to make a hair clip out of that also. So, Anyway, guys, uh, that that's a little bit of feedback. Oh, plus the little saw thing. It isn't that robust of a saw. You, you really can't rub through a lot. I wish the teeth were uh, a bit more sharp on that guy right there. So, yeah, uh, what do you think, Polly? There we go. Okay, that's it, everybody. Hope that helps.